This track model from Conrad comes in their usual box style and only a label at the end gives you a clue as to what's inside. So with no time to waste we'll set about opening up the box. Having then wasted a bit of time getting the flap open we can then try and pull out the insides. And even though it was a little bit reluctant to come out there's no escape from the greasy palms of cranes etc. The inner packaging is foam backed cardboard which protects the model well and there's the model and the bag of small parts that have to be fitted. <laughs> There are some mirrors and aerials which need to be separated, so this time we'll use a knife. Whoa, see it try to escape? And as for the roof aerial, it can't be bothered. For Conrad's MAN trucks, a little bit of pre-assembly of the passenger side mirror is advisable. And then you can go ahead and install it, and it just presses into the preformed holes in the cab. So there it looks okay, but perhaps the front mirror isn't quite at the right angle, but that's easy, we can just tweak that over. If you like sticking things into holes, the last job is just to press the roof aerial into place. Looking underneath, the rear axles are modelled in plastic, but the drive shaft is incomplete because the casing for the tipper body ram sticks out quite a bit. The steering axles are purely functionally modelled. A particularly smart feature of the model is the wheels, which are very nicely decorated. The MAN cab is modelled well and it looks particularly smart in the colours of Eicher Transport of Switzerland. And another nice aspect of this model is the tiny sharp graphics, including a fleet number on the leading edge. There's a chromed metal exhaust behind the cab and the heavy chassis certainly looks man enough for the job. At the rear the lights are painted and there's a plastic towing hitch. The metal tipper body has got a good structure underneath and there's a retaining cable too. The colour scheme of the tipper body is attractive. And there's a small Moser graphic. Moser is the company that makes the real tipper bodies. Moving out onto the Cranes Etc Auto Barn and the big 5 axle MAN rolls well enough and all of the wheels are properly grounded. Looking underneath each of the wheels turns independently and there's a degree of float in the rear axles to represent suspension. One thing that usually works well on Conrad trucks is the steering and that's true here with the two front axles being linked and they're able to turn to a good angle. Also on this one axle 3 steers independently and with the steering set the model does look impressive when it's turning. Diving back underneath the truck and there is another nice feature on that third axle. If you press it down it clips into position and that has the effect of raising the axle up out of service so it saves tyre wear when the truck is empty. It works well on the model because the wheel doesn't turn when it's clipped up. Another normal feature on a truck model is a tilting cab and it's perfectly good on this model because it stays in a tilted position. Underneath it is a reasonably detailed engine. This is a big tipper so it probably would be welcome in restaurants. And as far as the tipping action is concerned it works well enough. The multi-stage ram is quite smooth and the tipping angle is reasonable. At the back the tailgate opens and closes but it's not free swinging. However this particular Moser tipping body is interesting because it's got two tipping actions. You can lower one of the sides and then the whole of the body will tip up sideways. It works because Conrad has done a clever engineering job with the connections of the tipper body to the chassis and it makes for an interesting feature. For the first of the genuine imitation real life tests we'll try and tip out some pallets and we start by skillfully lowering the side. 
Yep, that certainly works well enough and that's one way to leave a big tip. But before it's realised that the tip is worthless, it's best to close up the side and drive away quickly. For the second of the genuine imitation real life tests, we'll try it with a different load. This time we'll try and side tip some sand. And this time of course, as soon as you lower the side, the sand starts coming out and fills your boots. But never mind, we might as well go for the full effect now. And we end up with a big pile of sand. And finally, the end tipping works realistically and we're left with another mess that we have to clear up. In summary, this is a very nice tipper truck model by Conrad. It's well made and strong and the features are particularly good. It also looks attractive in the colours of Eicher, so if you want a big tipper truck, it's highly recommended. Thank you.